Syracuse, Italian, Syracusa, pronounced Syracusa, listen, Sicilian, Sarausa, Saragusa, Latin, Syracuse, Ancient Greek, Syracusae, Syracusae, Medieval Greek, Syracusae is a historic city on the island of Sicily, the capital of the Italian province of Syracuse. The city is notable for its rich Greek history, culture, amphitheatres, architecture, and is the birthplace of the preeminent mathematician and engineer Archimedes. This 2,700-year-old city played a key role in ancient times, when it was one of the major powers of the Mediterranean world. Syracuse is located in the southeast corner of the island of Sicily, next to the Gulf of Syracuse beside the Ionian Sea. The city was founded by ancient Greek Corinthians and Tenians and became a very powerful city-state. Syracuse was allied with Sparta and Corinth and exerted influence over the entirety of Magna Graecia, of which it was the most important city. Described by Cicero as, "...the greatest Greek city and the most beautiful of them all," it equaled Athens in size during the 5th century BC. It later became part of the Roman Republic and Byzantine Empire. With the Emperor Constance II it was the capital of the Roman Empire 663 After this Palermo overtook it in importance, as the capital of the Kingdom of Sicily. Eventually the kingdom would be united with the Kingdom of Naples to form the two Sicilies until the Italian unification of 1860. In the modern day, the city is listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site along with the necropolis of Pantalica. In the central area, the city itself has a population of around 125,000 people. Syracuse is mentioned in the Bible in the Acts of the Apostles book at 28-12 as Paul stayed there. The patron saint of the city is St. Lucy. She was born in Syracuse and her feast day, St. Lucy's Day, is celebrated on 13 December. History of Syracuse Topic. Greek period Syracuse and its surrounding area have been inhabited since ancient times, as shown by the findings in the villages of Stentinello, Ognina, Plemirio, Matrensa, Kazo Pantano and Thapsos, which already had a relationship with Mycenaean Greece. Syracuse was founded in 734 or 733 BC by Greek settlers from Corinth and Tenia, led by the Oecist colonizer Archias. There are many attested variants of the name of the city including Syracusae Syracusae, Syracusae Syracusae and Syraco Syraco. A possible origin of the city's name was given by Vibius Sequester citing first Stephanus Byzantius in that there was a Syracusian marsh Limi called Syraco and secondly Marcians Periagesis wherein Archias gave the city the name of a nearby marsh, hence one gets Syraco and thereby Syracusae and other variants for the name of Syracuse, a name also attested by Epicharmus. The settlement of Syracuse was a planned event, as a strong central leader, Archias the aristocrat, laid out how property would be divided up for the settlers, as well as plans for how the streets of the settlement should be arranged, and how wide they should be. The nucleus of the ancient city was the small island of Ortigia. The settlers found the land fertile and the native tribes to be reasonably well disposed to their presence. The city grew and prospered, and for some time stood as the most powerful Greek city anywhere in the Mediterranean. Colonies were founded at Acrae 664 BC, Casmenae 643 BC, Acrolae 7th century BC, Helleris 7th century BC and Camarina 598 BC. The descendants of the first colonists, called Gamoroi, held power until they were expelled by the Kilichiroi, the lower class of the city. The former, however, returned to power in 485 BC, thanks to the help of Gelo, ruler of Gela. Gelo himself became the despot of the city, and moved many inhabitants of Gela, Camarina and Megara to Syracuse, building the new quarters of Taish and Neapolis outside the walls. His program of new constructions included a new theatre, designed by Damakopos, which gave the city a flourishing cultural life, this in turn attracted personalities as Aeschylus, Ario of Methymna and Eumelos of Corinth. The enlarged power of Syracuse made unavoidable the clash against the Carthaginians, who ruled western Sicily. In the Battle of Himera, Gelo, who had allied with Theron of Agrigento, decisively defeated the African force led by Hamilcar. A temple dedicated to Athena on the site of today's cathedral, was erected in the city to commemorate the event. Syracuse grew considerably during this time. 
Its walls encircled 120 hectares 300 acres in the 5th century, but as early as the 470s BC the inhabitants started building outside the walls. The complete population of its territory approximately numbered 250,000 in 415 BC and the population size of the city itself was probably similar to Athens. Gelo was succeeded by his brother Hiero, who fought against the Etruscans at Cumae in 474 BC. His rule was eulogized by poets like Simonides of Ceos, Bacchylides and Pindar, who visited his court. A democratic regime was introduced by Thrasybulos 467 BC. The city continued to expand in Sicily, fighting against the rebellious Siculi, and on the Tyrrhenian Sea, making expeditions up to Corsica and Elba. In the late 5th century BC, Syracuse found itself at war with Athens, which sought more resources to fight the Peloponnesian War. The Syracusans enlisted the aid of a general from Sparta, Athens' foe in the war, to defeat the Athenians, destroy their ships, and leave them to starve on the island see Sicilian expedition. In 401 BC, Syracuse contributed a force of 300 hoplites and a general to Cyrus the Younger's army of the 10,000. Then in the early 4th century BC, the tyrant Dionysus the Elder was again at war against Carthage and, although losing Gela and Camarina, kept that power from capturing the whole of Sicily. After the end of the conflict Dionysus built a massive fortress on Ortigia and 22 km long walls around all of Syracuse. Another period of expansion saw the destruction of Naxos, Catania and Lentini, then Syracuse entered again in war against Carthage 397 BC. After various changes of fortune, the Carthaginians managed to besiege Syracuse itself, but were eventually pushed back by a pestilence. A treaty in 392 BC allowed Syracuse to enlarge further its possessions, founding the cities of Adranon, Tindarian and Toromenos, and conquering region on the continent. In the Adriatic, to facilitate trade, Dionysus the Elder founded Ancona, Adria and Issa. Apart from his battle deeds, Dionysus was famous as a patron of art, and Plato himself visited Syracuse several times. His successor was Dionysus the Younger, who was however expelled by Dion in 356 BC. But the latter's despotic rule led in turn to his expulsion, and Dionysus reclaimed his throne in 347 BC. Dionysus was besieged in Syracuse by the Syracusan general Hisetas in 344 BC. The following year the Corinthian Timoleon installed a democratic regime in the city after he exiled Dionysus and defeated Hisetas. The long series of internal struggles had weakened Syracuse's power on the island, and Timoleon tried to remedy this, defeating the Carthaginians in the Battle of the Crimesis 339 BC. After Timoleon's death the struggle among the city's parties restarted and ended with the rise of another tyrant, Agathocles, who seized power with a coup in 317 BC. He resumed the war against Carthage, with alternate fortunes. He was besieged in Syracuse by the Carthaginians in 311 BC, but he escaped from the city with a small fleet. He scored a moral success, bringing the war to the Carthaginians' native African soil, inflicting heavy losses to the enemy. The defenders of Syracuse destroyed the Carthaginian army which besieged them. However, Agathocles was eventually defeated in Africa as well. The war ended with another treaty of peace which did not prevent the Carthaginians from interfering in the politics of Syracuse after the death of Agathocles 289 BC. They laid siege to Syracuse for the fourth and last time in 278 BC. They retreated at the arrival of King Pyrrhus of Epirus, whom Syracuse had asked for help. After a brief period under the rule of Epirus, Hiero II seized power in 275 BC. Hiero inaugurated a period of fifty years of peace and prosperity, in which Syracuse became one of the most renowned capitals of antiquity. He issued the so-called Lex Hieronica, which was later adopted by the Romans for their administration of Sicily. He also had the theatre enlarged and a new immense altar, the Hiero's Era, built. Under his rule lived the most famous Syracusan, the mathematician and natural philosopher Archimedes. Among his many inventions were various military engines including the claw of Archimedes, later used to resist the Roman siege of 214 BC to 212 BC. Literary figures included Theocritus and others. Hiero's successor, the young Hieronymus, ruled from 215 BC, broke the alliance with the Romans after their defeat at the Battle of Cannae and accepted Carthage's support. The Romans, led by consul Marcus Claudius Marcellus, besieged the city in 214 BC. The city held out for three years, but fell in 212 BC. 
The successes of the Syracusans in repelling the Roman siege had made them overconfident. In 212 BC, the Romans received information that the city's inhabitants were to participate in the annual festival to their goddess Artemis. A small party of Roman soldiers approached the city under the cover of night and managed to scale the walls to get into the outer city and with reinforcements soon took control, killing Archimedes in the process, but the main fortress remained firm. After an eight-month siege and with parleys in progress, an Iberian captain named Moriscus is believed to have let the Romans in near the fountains of Arethusa. On the agreed signal, during a diversionary attack, he opened the gate. After setting guards on the houses of the pro-Roman faction, Marcellus gave Syracuse to plunder. Topic: <inaudible> Imperial Roman and Byzantine period. Though declining slowly through the years, Syracuse maintained the status of capital of the Roman government of Sicily and seat of the praetor. It remained an important port for trade between the eastern and the western parts of the empire. Christianity spread in the city through the efforts of Paul of Tarsus and St. Marziano, the first bishop of the city, who made it one of the main centers of proselytism in the West. In the age of persecutions by Christians massive catacombs were carved, whose size is second only to those of Rome. After a period of Vandal rule, Syracuse and the island was recovered by Belisarius for the Byzantine Empire the 31st of December 535. From 663 to 668 Syracuse was the seat of Emperor Constance II, as well as a capital of the Roman Empire and metropolis of the whole Sicilian Church. <laughs> Emirate of Sicily The city was besieged by the Aglabids for almost a year in 827–828, but Byzantine reinforcements prevented its fall. It remained the center of Byzantine resistance to the gradual Muslim conquest of Sicily until it fell to the Aglabids after another siege on 2021 May 878. During the two centuries of Muslim rule, the capital of the Emirate of Sicily was moved from Syracuse to Palermo. The cathedral was converted into a mosque and the quarter on the Ortigia island was gradually rebuilt along Islamic styles. The city, nevertheless, maintained important trade relationships, and housed a relatively flourishing cultural and artistic life. Several Arab poets, including Ibn Hamdis, the most important Sicilian Arab poet of the 12th century, flourished in the city. In 1038, the Byzantine general George Maniaques reconquered the city, sending the relics of St. Lucy to Constantinople. The eponymous castle on the Cape of Ortigia bears his name, although it was built under the Hohenstaufen rule. In 1085 the Normans entered Syracuse, one of the last Arab strongholds, after a summer-long siege by Roger I of Sicily and his son Jordan of Hauteville, who was given the city as count. New quarters were built, and the cathedral was restored, as well as other churches. <laughs> High medieval period In 1194, Emperor Henry VI occupied the Sicilian kingdom, including Syracuse. After a short period of Genoese rule 1205 under the notorious admiral and pirate Alamanno da Costa, which favoured a rise of trades, royal authority was reasserted in the city by Frederick II. He began the construction of the Castello Maniaci, the Bishop's Palace and the Bellomo Palace. Frederick's death brought a period of unrest and feudal anarchy. In the War of the Sicilian Vespers between the Angevin and Aragonese dynasties for control of Sicily, Syracuse sided with the Aragonese and expelled the Angevins in 1298, receiving from the Spanish sovereigns great privileges in reward. The preeminence of baronial families is also shown by the construction of the palaces of Abella, Chiramonte, Nava, Montalto. 16th–20th centuries The city was struck by two ruinous earthquakes in 1542 and 1693, and a plague in 1729. The 17th-century destruction changed the appearance of Syracuse forever, as well as the entire Val di Noto, whose cities were rebuilt along the typical lines of Sicilian Baroque, considered one of the most typical expressions of art of southern Italy. The spread of cholera in 1837 led to a revolt against the Bourbon government. The punishment was the move of the province capital seat to Noto, but the unrest had not been totally choked, as the Syracusani took part in the Sicilian Revolution of Independence of 1848. 
After the unification of Italy of 1865, Syracuse regained its status of provincial capital. In 1870 the walls were demolished and a bridge connecting the mainland to Ortigia Island was built. In the following year a railway link was constructed. Modern history Heavy destruction was caused during World War II by both the Allied and German bombings in 1943. Operation Husky, the codename for the Allied invasion of Sicily, was launched on the night between 9–10 July 1943 with British forces attacking the southeast of the island. The plan was for the British 5th Infantry Division, part of General Sir Bernard Montgomery's 8th Army to capture Syracuse on the first day of the invasion. This part of the operation went completely according to plan, and British forces captured Syracuse on the first night of the operation. The port was then used as a base for the British Royal Navy. To the west of the city is a Commonwealth War Graves Cemetery where about 1,000 men are buried. After the end of the war the northern quarters of Syracuse experienced a heavy, often chaotic, expansion, favoured by the quick process of industrialization. Syracuse today has about 125,000 inhabitants and numerous attractions for the visitor interested in historical sites such as the Ear of Dionysus. A process of recovering and restoring the historical center has been ongoing since the 1990s. Nearby places of note include Catania, Noto, Modica and Ragusa. Geography <inaudible> 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 Climate Syracuse experiences a hot summer Mediterranean climate with mild, wet winters and warm to hot, dry summers. Snow is infrequent but not rare at all. The last heavy snowfall in the city occurred in December 2014, but frosts are very rare, the last one happening in December 2014 with 0 degrees Celsius. Demographics In 2016, there were 122,051 people residing in Syracuse, located in the province of Syracuse, Sicily, of whom 48.7% were male and 51.3% were female. Minors children ages 18 and younger totaled 18.87% of the population compared to pensioners who number 16.87%. This compares with the Italian average of 18.06% minors and 19.94% pensioners. The average age of Syracuse resident is 40 compared to the Italian average of 42. In the five years between 2002 and 2007, the population of Syracuse declined by 0.49%, while Italy as a whole grew by 3.56%. The reason for decline is a population flight to the suburbs, and northern Italy. The current birth rate of Syracuse is 9.75 births per 1,000 inhabitants compared to the Italian average of 9.45 births. As of 2006, 97.9% .9 of the population was of Italian descent. The largest immigrant group came from other European nations particularly those from Poland, and the United Kingdom, 0.61%, North Africa mostly Tunisian, 0.51%, and South Asia, 0.37%. Topic. Culture Topic. Tourism Since 2005, the entire city of Syracuse, along with the necropolis of Pantelica which falls within the province of Syracuse, were listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. This program aims to catalogue, name and conserve sites of outstanding cultural or natural importance to the common heritage of humanity. The deciding committee which evaluates potential candidates described their reasons for choosing Syracuse because, "...monuments and archaeological sites situated in Syracuse are the finest example of outstanding architectural creation spanning several cultural aspects, Greek, Roman and Baroque." Following on that ancient Syracuse was, "...directly linked to events, ideas and literary works of outstanding universal significance." Topic. Buildings of the Greek period 
The Temple of Apollo, at Piazza Emanuele Pancali, adapted to a church in Byzantine times and to a mosque under Arab rule. The Fountain of Arethusa, on the Ortigia Island. According to a legend, the nymph Arethusa, hunted by Alpheus, took shelter here. The Greek theatre, whose cavea is one of the largest ever built by the ancient Greeks, it has 67 rows, divided into nine sections with eight aisles. Only traces of the scene and the orchestra remain. The edifice still used today was modified by the Romans, who adapted it to their different style of spectacles, including also circus games. Near the theatre are the Latami, stone quarries, also used as prisons in ancient times. The most famous Latamia is the Arecchio di Dionisio, Ear of Dionysus. The Roman amphitheatre. It was partly carved out from the rock. In the centre of the area is a rectangular space which was used for the scenic machinery. The tomb of Archimede, in the Graticelli necropolis. Decorated with two Doric columns. The Temple of Olympian Zeus, about 3 kilometers 2 miles outside the city, built around 6th century BC. Topic: <inaudible> Buildings of the Christian period. The Cathedral of Syracuse, Italian Duomo, was built by Bishop Zosimo in the 7th century over the Great Temple of Athena, 5th century BC, on Ortigia Island. This was a Doric edifice with six columns on the short sides and fourteen on the long sides, these can still be seen incorporated in the walls of the current church. The base of the temple had three steps. The interior of the church has a nave and two aisles. The roof of the nave is from Norman times, as well as the mosaics in the apses. The façade was rebuilt by Andrea Palma in 1725-1753, with a double order of Corinthian columns, and statues by Ignazio Marabitti. The most interesting pieces of the interior are a font with marble basin 12th-13th century, a silver statue of St. Lucy by Pietro Rizzo 1599, a ciborium by Luigi Vanvitelli, and a statue of the Madonna della Neve Madonna of the Snow, 1512 by Antonello Gagini. Basilica of Santa Lucia Extra Moenia, a Byzantine church built after Norman rebuilt, according to tradition, in the same place of the martyrdom of the saint in 303 AD. The current appearance is from the 15th-16th centuries. The most ancient parts still preserved include the portal, the three half-circular apses and the first two orders of the belfry. Under the church are the catacombs of St. Lucy. For this church Caravaggio painted the burial of St. Lucy, now housed in the church of Santa Lucia alla Badia. Our Lady of Tears Shrine 20th century. Church of San Paolo 18th century. Church of San Cristoforo 14th century, rebuilt in the 18th century. Church of Santa Lucia alla Badia, a Baroque edifice built after the 1693 earthquake. It houses the burial of St. Lucy by Caravaggio Church of Santa Maria dei Miracoli 13th century. Church of the Spirito Santo 18th century. Church of the Jesuit College, a majestic, Baroque building. Church of St. Benedict 16th century, restored after 1693. It houses a painting of the death of St. Benedict by the Caravaggisti Mario Miniti. Chiesa della Concezione 14th century, rebuilt in the 18th century, with the annexed Benedictine convent. Church of San Francesco Alamacolata, with a convex façade intermingled by columns and pilaster strips. It housed an ancient celebration, the Svalata Revelation in which an image of the Madonna was unveiled at dawn of 29 November. Basilica of St. John the Evangelist, built by the Normans and destroyed in 1693. Only partially restored, it was erected over an ancient crypt of the martyr San Marciano, later destroyed by the Arabs. The main altar is Byzantine. It includes the catacombs of San Giovanni, featuring a maze of tunnels and passages, with thousands of tombs and several frescoes. Topic. Other notable buildings Castello Maniacci, constructed between 1232 and 1240, is an example of the military architecture of Frederick II's reign. It is a square structure with circular towers at each of the four corners. The most striking feature is the pointed portal, decorated with polychrome marbles. The important archaeological museum, with collections including findings from the Mid-Bronze Age to 5th century BC. Palazzo Lanza Bucari 16th century. 
Palazzo Bellomo, 12th century, which contains an art museum that houses Antonello da Messina's Annunciation, 1474. Palazzo Montalto, 14th century, which conserves the old facade from the 14th century with a pointed portal. The Archbishop's Palace, 17th century, modified in the following century. It houses the Alagonian Library, founded in the late 18th century. The Palazzo Vermexio, the current town hall, which includes fragments of an Ionic temple of the 5th century BC. Palazzo Francica Nava, with parts of the original 16th century building surviving. Palazzo Beneventano del Bosco, originally built in the Middle Ages but extensively modified between 1779 and 1788. It has a pleasant internal court. Palazzo Migliaccio 15th century, with notable lava inlay decorations. The Senate Palace, housing in the court an 18th century coach. The Castle of Euryalos, built 9 km 6 miles outside the city by Dionysus the Elder and which was one of the most powerful fortresses of ancient times. It had three moats with a series of underground galleries which allowed the defenders to remove the materials the attackers could use to fill them. The mikveh, a bath used for the purpose of ritual immersion in Judaism, built during the Byzantine era. It is situated in the Guadeca, the ancient Jewish ghetto of Syracuse. Topic. Famous people Archimedes, classical Greek mathematician, physicist and engineer Saint Lucy, Roman martyr Pope Stephen III Vincenzo Mirabella, humanist and pioneer of archaeology Topic. See also Cassibile village Greek coinage of Italy and Sicily Istituto Superiore Internazionale di Scienze Criminali Peloponnesian League Sicilian Wars Syracusa Railway Station Malina, a 2000 romantic comedy drama film starring Monica Bellucci and Giuseppe Solfaro was mostly produced in Syracuse Topic. References Topic. Further reading Dummett, Jeremy 2015. Syracuse City of Legends, A Glory of Sicily paperback. London, I. B. Tories. ISBN 978-1-78453-306-9 External links Syracuse, Italy, travel guide from Wikivoyage Coins from ancient Syracuse and Sicily Livius. Org, History of Syracuse Photos of Ortigia in Syracuse